Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polyester here, and this is my second YouTube channel called Polly Pops, where I make videos about my hobby of collecting these Funko Pop figures you see here behind me. Well today we got a box in from, I think it's GameStop, I believe it's GameStop. So I'm starting to get in some of the San Diego Comic Con stuff. Um, we're not getting as many of the items that were offered in San Diego Comic Con uh, at the shared level of retail here in Canada as people in the US are getting. Uh, I think there was something like 40 products that were Funko exclusives at San Diego Comic Con, of which about 25 are available here. So some I've ordered like the, um, the Jimmy Jam from Parks and Rec from Walmart. I have that one on order. Some I got at retail already, which I'll show you here in a minute. Others I've ordered online and others are supposed to be available in September. Like, I don't know what the holdup is, but Toys R Us has quite a few of the exclusives um, that they're supposed to be selling uh, the, as a shared retailer, but no sign of them on their website. We're told maybe in September. So uh, this was one of the first things that showed up very quickly and I, I ordered it. it. It did not show up in stores. So I decided to order it off of the GameStop website. And GameStop in um, Canada has something new now where I have that edge card where I save 10% off of all of my purchases in store. And it used to be that you couldn't use your card on the website. You could only use it for in-store purchases. Well, now they've changed that in recent months. So I can use my edge card on the website and save 10% off too. So I got 10% off of this order. I guess that's my packing slip. We got a whole bunch of bubble wrap here. There's only one figure in this. It's a little bit bigger than your normal figure, but just the one in here. So let me pop this out. And this is part of the Tim Burton Batman series. Batman Returns. There's the penguin on the duck ride. And you can see here the sticker. Let me see if I can get it there. Funko 2022 Summer Convention Limited Edition. So this was, uh, sold in person at the San Diego Comic-Con with the official San Diego Comic-Con logo sticker. And this is the shared version, shared with GameStop in the United States and GameStop here in Canada. It used to be um, EB Games in Canada, but it was owned by GameStop all along and now they've rebranded it. So I like all of the, the Batman movie figures. I'm trying to keep a complete set here. We have Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, Danny DeVito, as the penguin those came out two years ago three years ago maybe so i've been trying to keep uh this batman movie series pretty well complete that's a very nice figure and uh no complaints on condition and shipping that came in great so that's one of the first san diego comic-con things uh when i say there's 25 items available to canada i don't want all 25 of them some of them are sodas. Thank goodness a lot of the ones that we couldn't get here are sodas, and I don't collect sodas. So, we're going to get what we can. Uh, my wife picked this up at GameStop for me the other day. This was an exclusive San Diego Comic-Con that they had in the store. And this is from G.I. Joe Serpentor. Again, that same San Diego Comic-Con sticker there. That's a nice figure. Very good. Um, they didn't get too many of these. In the stores here locally either so i actually called ahead to that location and uh had them hold one for me which they kindly did a lot of times they won't do that so she picked it up for me when she was in uh, the neighborhood and then um hot topic got i think three san diego comic-con exclusives of which i only wanted two and i think they only got like i don't know a dozen at my local store and i've told you you got to be there for uh, the door warmers who are ready to grab stuff. You know, it might have been two dozen. It might have been actually two dozen, 24 of each, because it wasn't exclusive to them. So when something's exclusive to Hot Topic, they get a, a few more than they do normally. But the Commons are only getting like three figures. I told you they're not ordering enough product. Just really aren't. So um, my wife was working. She had the car. I wasn't able to go down to Hot Topic the day these came out. And when she came home, I said, I got to run out to Hot Topic. And I went to Hot Topic and I got the very last one 
of the two San Diego Comic-Con exclusives I wanted to get. And seeing that there was only one left of each, I was like, well, I'm probably scraping the bottom of the barrel here for condition, but no, they're pretty good. So we got Starfire here from the Justice League uh, series here, better known as a Teen Titans member there. Starfire, that's a really cool looking figure there. And then the other one we got was part of the Disney Anna, Disney collection, Disney classics Bambi with the butterfly on the tail there. So last one of each of these. So I'm glad I, I'm glad that I basically met my wife in the driveway and said, I got to use the car. Bye. Because who knows? I wouldn't missed out. So two dozen each. You're not there. You're not there right at the first thing in the morning. It's going to be uh, a luck. So I was happy to get that. So that begins our journey for uh, the um, the San Diego Comic-Con stuff. Let me actually bring up the list here and show you what is still out there that I want and um, what's available in Canada. Okay, so here are the listed items of shared retailer exclusives from San Diego Comic-Con. There's 45 items on this page here available to the United States, but here the Canadian version only has 24 items so along the top here uh, I want to get the the green light red light girl from squid game um, Ted Lasso I'm so so on the, these are the ones that we're waiting for from Toys R Us I definitely want to get this peacemaker figure here that's a must-have uh, these are turtles and Power Rangers crossovers I'm not really interested in that I would like to get the he-man there though and the three sodas I'm not interested in uh, Walmart, the um, the Sonic is already sold out. I ordered the Jimmy Jam, the the, the Star Wars, and the Doctor Strange uh, piece. I'm not interested in. Um, there's a metallic Charmander. I could take it or leave it. Not very interested in that. Um, the Serpentor we got. Nothing else on the bottom row here. We got the Penguin and the Duck Ride. So that's it. So from the things that are available to me. The things that I really would like to get, I'd like to get the Sonic, but that's sold out on the Walmart website already. So probably just the, the red light, green light gal and the Peacemaker and the He-Man. That's it. So that's what I can get that's available to me. Hopefully when Toys R Us gets their stuff in, I'll get those three at least. Now, so what's on the list here that I can't get in Canada that I would like? Luckily, not too much. So the only thing that I really see here is the the Hugsy the Penguin from Friends. Joey's special friend from that episode of Friends, his stuffed animal, the Penguin, Hugsy. For some reason, that one's not on any shared retailer list. Now, you've often heard me say that I order stuff from pop culture, but if it's something that is exclusive to a retailer in Canada, they won't ship it to me. However, since this figure didn't get picked up by uh, a Canadian retailer, this is one of the maybe only uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusives on the pop culture website in Australia that they will mail to me. So I've ordered that from pop culture, probably have it in about three weeks. Pretty excited to get that. And I think that's about it. So uh, it's been a pretty light San Diego Comic-Con here compared to other years where I was getting a ton of stuff. Um, as you see Funko moving more and more into the soda products, pushing the sodas, um, I think that that is making it more and closer and closer to a 50-50 split of product between Funko Pops and Funko Sodas. So I always knew sodas were going to be a hit and they were going to take off, but I just I just couldn't bring myself to start collecting another another uh, a brand of stuff. So I've for the most part held steadfast against all of those soda can figures but i see now they've even gone with the three liter soda bottles to make giant funko soda can figures that come in uh three liter soda pop bottles which is hilarious but um yeah who knows uh, that whole blind bag aspect of the chases and people buying multiples it's it's just like artificially inflated sales to me but People are going for it. I'm happy to pick the odd one up, up off the scrap heap that's open that our people don't want it because it's not a chase. But I don't think I'm ever going to go full bore into collecting sodas off the shelf. So 
We'll see. Famous last words. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching. I always appreciate the time that you spend here with me on my channel. And uh, hope to bring you another video soon. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.